Telegraph Herald, this is Riley. Um, yeah, uh, all complaints go to Steve Ortman. Can you? I'll send you over to his line. Riley, Sam, how's it going, guys? Pretty good. good. How you doing, Steve? Doing all right. You guys have a good weekend? Yeah, yeah it's all right. Not too much too, going on. Yeah, nothing too exciting. No, not really. Yeah, kind of slow Mondays. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys have a good one. You too. Mike, how's it going? Hey Steve, what's up? Oh, not too much. Nice to have Riley and Sam back in the office. Oh yeah, they're, they're doing pretty good work, but I mean, I know we support decorating our desks and whatnot, but I don't know, it just seems like they're being a little loud, a little braggy, don't you think? Yeah, it's, it's a bit excessive. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald. More than the score, I am your host Steve Ortman. Alongside me this week, fresh off a six state championship for the program, Dyersville Beckman baseball players Riley Legrand, Sam Stelkin. Guys, thanks for coming into the office today. Yeah, thanks Steve. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously had a uh, maybe a little more exciting of a weekend than you let on in our opening. In fact, you're such huge fans of the show. You just, you're dying to wear the more than the score polos, weren't you guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. That has nothing to do with the fact that you'd probably disappear and just be floating heads since you're wearing green shirts before. But anyway, nonetheless, we got to promote more than the score. And we are here today to talk about the great season you guys had, 12-game winning streak at the end of the year, just an impressive performance to capture that sixth state championship. And, of course, we've told this story many times in the Telegraph Herald, but obviously you guys are playing for, for more than just about baseball this season. Tom Jane Jr., famous coach for the Blazers, stage four brain cancer. Before the season, you guys as a team, you received this information. Riley, you know, what's the mindset of the team knowing that you guys are going to be moving forward, you know, without your coach there on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, um, we knew it was kind of going to be different without him there, but uh, I know we were kind of all itching to get out there and play for him. And uh, I mean, we just had a great year and um, it was just, I mean, it was tough playing without him, but I mean, not a whole lot changed with the practices or anything, and we were all still pretty loose, and he actually probably almost took a little bit of pressure off of us yeah. uh, going into that year, and I mean, we just had a great year. Yeah, now, don't want to just skim over the regular season too much, but if you could just kind of recap the regular season. Sam, what was the feeling? What kind of differences were there from before when you have Coach Chink there, you know, on a consistent basis, but now Coach Martin's kind of leading the way, and overall how things go for the regular season in that regard? Uh, just really the only different thing in the regular season was just the motivation a little bit. Uh, Cenk, he's a great motivational speaker and he knows how to get everyone going. But we had, we had a few guys just come up, come big, and they, they got everyone to get going and get their heads straight and get the wins when we needed them. Sure, now uh, enter the postseason, you get to the final, sub-state final, it's kind of what you expect these days. It's going to be Beckman. It's going to be Cascade. Yeah. Great rivalry. Always seems to come to a head with that, you know, with the uh, final spot available to go to state here in this area. And Riley talked about that game and what a fun matchup it, it is to, mm -hmm. to seemingly always run into those guys. Yeah, it's always a game we look forward to playing Cascade. I mean, it's kind of something that people will mark on their schedule, kind of mm -hmm. being prepared for that. And it's always a great game when we play against them. And I know it's it's a lot of fun playing against them. And I know we were talking to the Cascade people. It's always tough having to beat the other person. We wish we could play right. at state one time mm -hmm. just to see how that would go. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just it's a great experience playing against them in front of a great crowd like it was. And we played one of our better games all year there. And Jackson pitched a great game. I mean, I really wish he could have finished that game for himself. But he with the pitch limits and Sam just came in and finished it off for us. And it was probably one of our best games all year. So. Yep, of course, Jackson Bennett, such a great ace for you guys all year okay. long. And uh, we can't talk about the Cascade game without Paul dial up the photos. We got to get the photos. Sam's unbelievable catch there in the outfield. Such a big play in that game to keep runs off the board. Tell me about that moment and what kind of what kind of what's going through your head when you're approaching the fence like that with a chance to catch that ball. Uh, well, with the short field that we were playing on, I was already playing deep enough the way it was just uh -huh. because it's sh so short, but. Uh, I look back, I knew I had a little bit of room, but really didn't know how far it was. And Colin Kelker, my left fielder, he was uh, he was yelling, you got room, you got room. And then I, I took one look, I was right by the fence, I jumped up and luckily made the catch. Yeah, and Riley, when you're seeing a, a teammate make a play like that, how fired up do you get at this? Yeah, teammates? I know, you could tell it really just kind of got us going. And mm -hmm. 
I mean, that was a really big play. I think we were up 4 nothing at the time. It would have been 4-2 to two if that goes over. And, I mean, that's just kind of a game changer right there. And if that goes over, I mean, we may end up losing the game. I mean, it's hard to predict the outcome after that. But, I mean, it just it was a huge play at that time. Yep, and obviously go back to state. Been down there many times before. Obviously a program has a rich history down there. But uh, you meet Denver in the first round, Iowa City, Regina in the semis. Sam, talk about that momentum you guys had at that point. You're obviously, you're in the midst of a 12-game winning streak to close the season. But uh, from a motivational standpoint, uh, how, how eager were you guys to get down there and perform well? Oh, we Everyone was ready to go. Our mindset was it was clear. We were, we were going to go out there, and we were just going to dominate every game that we played. Uh, towards the end there, it got a little bit shaky. But we went out, we got it done, and we got the state title. Yeah, now, before you're playing Carol Kemper in the final, Talk about Riley. Can you guys both touch on the motivational speech you were given by Coach Jank? I mean, if that doesn't get you fired up, uh, mm-hmm. talk a little bit about what he said and and how. I mean, that's got to be the best form of motivation going into a yeah, title d- game. Definitely, I know. For us seniors to be able to get that one last pep talk from Coach Jank, it it just was very inspiring and just. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was awesome to see him up there in that press box and be able to get to witness that championship game. Because I know it, it's always his goal to be playing on championship Saturday and then to be able to cap it off and get that win for him, you know, it was just, it was awesome for him. Yeah, and Sam, I mean, you guys come out and score nine, nine yeah. runs in the first inning. I mean, that, was, that, that fired was you guys up, obviously. Yeah, oh, definitely. That was, it was crazy. I, I really don't even know how we did it. Just, it was, it was just, I think Jank just being there, it, it made everyone fire up, get ready to go, and just get our heads on straight. Yeah, and can you can you touch a little bit on the game itself, Riley? You guys went on to win nine to six. You score all nine runs there in the first inning. Kind of became a situation where you had to hold on. Yeah, it was definitely it was a crazy game. I know before the game we were talking. If we get to three runs with Jackson on the mound, I f- we felt very confident with that, and we went out and scored nine in the first inning. So I think we might have got a little bit overconfident after we got mm-hmm. those first nine. Uh, I know we kept talking. We just kept wanted to keep slowly adding on if we mm-hmm. could and. I mean, we hit the ball hard and just kind of add them in the later innings, and then uh, that the sixth inning came around and got a little bit scary there. And I know I was nervous, and I know oh, Sam God. was too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. and I couldn't imagine watching the game as a fan. I know that had to be very nerve wracking for them, but it was just kind of a weird game. But I mean, we were able to pull it out in the end. That's kind of all that matters. Yeah, and uh, headline news right here: a, t- a title for TJ. Obviously, a uh, big story for you guys all season long. You're Getting mobbed, the big celebration on the field, obviously bringing home another trophy. Can, can you guys put into words what it meant for you guys to have this goal, to be playing for your coach all season long who's battling this horrible disease, and, and to be able to come to fruition and, and achieve it? It's it, it really, it's just the best feeling in the world, just to go out there and do it for someone then it, that it actually means something to them. It, it meant the world to Jank for us to get that championship, and just to actually go out and do it, it there's no better feeling. Uh, it was, I mean, a very emotional time for, I think, all of us kind of being able to, after the dog pile, pointing up to Jank and kind of saying we did this for you and having him point back at us. I mean, it was just kind of a very emotional uh, game and just the ending, the way it ended. Mm-hmm. I mean, just kind of storybook the way it ended. You can't really write that up. Sure, and uh, obviously you guys both had great careers, great seasons this year. You know, both All-State caliber players. Riley, you were named the captain of the 2A All-State team to close your senior season state championship, achieving these goals, and you're the captain of the 2A All-State team. What did that mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot. I know it's not just kind of an award for me. I know it goes out to my whole team, kind of just shows uh, what kind of team we had, and I know I was very grateful to be able to receive that honor. Yeah, and Sam, same for you, obviously, All-State recognition. and. And uh, also on that fact, I mean, obviously you guys are both multi-sport stars, so uh, how's this season rank for you? It's, that's right up there on the, it definitely it puts the icing on the cake, definitely. Yeah, all right. Well, now I know you guys, obviously, great careers, you're moving on, obviously, uh, now, where are you guys heading to school? Uh, I'll be heading off to Coe College to continue my baseball and basketball career. And so. I'll be going to the University of Iowa to study business. All right, you guys looking forward to that? Enjoying the last few days of the mm-hmm. summer? Going to yeah. be taking off soon, I suppose. Yes, yeah. well, we have it. Well, well, it was a perfect way to cap it off. Yeah. Any other last words, guys? Any, any, any motivational words for the, for the baseball players out there, the young players? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, that's something we had always worked for. I mean, if you work hard enough, and I, dreams will come true. So. Definitely, definitely. Uh, that's such a perfect way to end the episode. <laughs> I know they're so good in the Moscow shirts. <laughs> All right, guys, we wish you the best of luck moving forward. Congratulations again on a great year. 
That is going to do it for this week's episode of Telegraph Herald. More in the score. I'm your host, Steve Ortman. For Sam Stelkin, Riley Legrand, who most certainly, if you really need it, you can always have jobs here at the TH. Obviously, you did a great job. Thank you. That's going to do it for this week's episode. We'll catch you next week.